Hey guys, and welcome to Meet the Jester. My name is Jesse Lane Mann. I'm 20 years old and I live in Springfield, Missouri, and I'm the Jester. The name is actually self proclaimed. <laughs> um, I, I, a lot of times it wasn't funny as a kid, and to making my giving myself a, my own nickname kind of was it was a very funny joke people found it funny so then I just kind of kept it um, also my name is Jesse and jesters are funny so it made sense that one and one would go together to meet the jester so that's me <laughs> anyways I did a blog post that goes like an ex, like it's an extensive blog post about who I am and how I came about uh, first principles gaming and like kind of where I started with games and uh, it's all it's all summarized in that blog post on firstprinciplesgaming.com. You should go check that out. I'll probably post this and the blog post together so you can see them both. Uh, either way, this video is two things. It's a summary of the blog post, and it's also uh, our gameplay, our team's gameplay. We had five members on at the same time, and we did play a game called Rush. Rush in Battlefield, it's called Rush. And uh, basically, you just protect the site or attack the site. And so it forces teamwork no matter what. And uh, we just destroyed because we, we just did really well because of who we are. So it's worth watching. There's like five, I think five games in this one video here. It's only like seven minutes. So stick around, watch it, get to know my story a little bit. Like I said, my name is Jesse Mann, and I'm 20 years old. I uh, started gaming when I was a kid. My. Jeez, my brother mostly played video games, really, and I followed him around wherever he went and would watch him play video games and play them whenever he would let me play them. That's pretty much how my whole young life existed, was watching him play video games. And so I can understand why you guys would want to watch me play video games and talk about things, because that's exactly what I, I did. So I get, I get where you're coming from. As a kid, we had a PS1, um, probably around the time the PS2 was at its end probably time ps3 was coming out we finally got a ps1 we were so behind on the system but i think it was a lot of begging on my brother's end and my family's uh the kids in my family were just begging there's six of us in my family and i'm the youngest and uh i think there was there was a lot of begging on their end and then eventually my dad got them the ps1 i believe i think it was my dad that got us a ps1 we had a Nintendo 64 before that, played games like Star Fox and stuff, but the PS1 was the way more awesome system. I remember we spent, oh goodness, I, I would get home from school and play Jet Moto with, because that was a, uh, I believe it was a multiplayer game, and I would play it with my brother, and it would always, I don't know, it would always switch off, and Megan played it, my sister, and everyone kind of played it, but Jet Moto was a pretty intense game. It was a lot of, uh, you know, jet skis and water and you motoed things. I don't, I don't really even remember what you did in that game, but I remember spending a lot of time playing it. Eventually, you got the games like Final Fantasy. That was more of a challenge on your, your brain, especially mine as a young one. I was, as a young kid, I had a teeny brain. It wasn't very, wasn't very smart. Still really not that smart. But as a kid, we're talking about when I was a kid, not now. Anyways, as a kid, I wasn't very smart. But I did play a lot of video games. Maybe that's the reason. I played a lot of video games, and let's see, what else, what other games did I get into, man, as a kid? Tomb Raider. We played Tomb Raider a lot. That was pretty intense. Twisted Metal was the... I don't, I don't know who got us Twisted Metal. It had to be Jonathan, but that game was... It was pretty intense. It was. It's a bad... It's not a good game. I mean, now it's a fine game because the graphics are so bad, but it wasn't a good game. I don't, I don't think it was a good game. Probably not for my, you know, the way... I was when I kid. It probably wasn't a good game for me, but I played that game anyways. Eventually, we got to PS1. We played those systems. I also played a lot, like, uh, got to the computer stage. My brother played a lot of computer games like Lineage and World of Warcraft, Counter-Strike, that type of thing. I always was following him along, following behind his footsteps. He eventually moved out. I got to the computer stage. I played my dad's old computer system, like, old PC because I didn't have my own and it didn't have internet so I played games like Theme Hospital and a lot of Age of Empires and a lot of Red Alert Command and Conquer and those games were really like the start of my love for games it had to be those like for sure I got got to do it on my own and figure out all the challenges on my own Red Alert building your own maps was probably the coolest thing I can't find a Red Alert that allows you to build your own maps now but anyways got to that stage then I got to the stage where I bought my own computer had my own internet 
Got games like World of Warcraft and Counter-Strike Source as well. Played the crap, crap tons of that of them. Learned a lot from, learned a lot about like movement and persistence and stability. Like just the, the first principles of gaming, I, I learned it. I didn't really know what they were, but I played so much that I kind of picked up on how they felt and what it felt to do those things correctly, if that makes sense. Um, eventually though, I, I stopped, I, no, I didn't stop. I, I moved out with uh, Jonathan and uh, our friend David Garrett, who's JD Garot, JD Garot in the game. And uh, I moved out with him. We all, we all three moved up to Columbia, Missouri to learn judo. And when I learned judo, it kind of, I already kind of knew these principles in gaming a little bit. I knew about movement a little bit. I knew about stability. I knew about posture. But in judo, it's such a physical sport that it really makes you know it real good real fast. Because if you do something wrong, you're just going to get thrown. If you move wrong, you're going to get thrown real hard by a nasty throw. If you uh, have bad posture, someone's just going to abuse you and throw you all around. I mean, it. you learn these principles because you're you're so physically involved and it's such an easy place to learn in the physical world because if you do something wrong you have instant consequences it literally punches you in the face very quickly so it's easy to learn these principles and and judo uh first principles gaming came about because jonathan wanted to uh bring those principles to gaming because we brought we brought once we moved back from to springfield uh from columbia we moved back to teach some people judo and we also decided to do it in video games, not teach judo through video games, teach principles through video games. And that way everyone could get an idea of like uh, how to play, how to have a good methodology in your video games. That way you, your score is consistent because you apply consistent principles and you just get to know what these principles are and you can constantly have victory and have success and have a lot more fun. I, I That's where I find my joy is, is by, you know, things like moving together with your team that's that's an awesome thing and then you have success based on the principles that you and that you establish so that's what we're trying to do we're trying to start a team that establishes those principles and well I, I think we've done a great job so far picking up people that abide by those and day by day they'll learn and eventually you know questions will come about what a specific principle is and we can answer that and kind of teach them you know all about principles so that's what first principles gaming is if you guys like this video make sure to actually like it and subscribe and i only have eight subscribers right now what's the deal so get some subscribers on there get some comments on there tell me if you like this video tell me if you want more videos like meet meet videos m-e-a-t meet us <laughs> meet the videos and whatever anyways if you guys want to check more of them out make sure to tell me you like it and i'll make more of them take it easy guys love you